Hello class. So this is uh, week eight. We are officially halfway through the class. This week is the midterm. And this is just a time to pause and reflect on what's going on. So this week you just have the midterm and a, a brief discussion for homework. The midterm itself is just uh, questions that you've already seen uh, randomly selected from chapters one through seven. So as we think about what we've learned so far, uh, probably a lot of you have figured out that MIS is a lot more involved than you thought, and actually there are more positions within the business world or in other types of organizations that are involved in managing information services. So uh, some of you may have thought at the beginning of this, ah, I'm not really in this particular field, this is not going to be really useful to me, it might be interesting but not useful, and now I think you can see that everything that you do, uh, both in your personal and professional lives are uh, intertwined with MIS. So even if you are not uh, functioning in a position that solely deals with this, you're being affected by people that are managing these types of systems. So uh, as we look forward, if you have not already turned in your research proposal, obviously it's too late to get credit for it, but you should make sure that I see it to tell you if you're on the right track or not for your research project. The research paper itself, remember, is 20% of your final grade. Uh, the proposal is 1% and the draft, which will be due in week 11, is actually 4%. So what should happen in between now and week 11 is you really are writing your paper. So the second half of this week is a good time to really dig into that. You need to make sure that you're using real true scholarly sources on the library website. Um, you know, the databases I'm talking about. Certain subjects you might use newspaper articles and magazine articles and that kind of thing, but really we want to see some good scholarly proof for what you're talking about. Um, so you're going to be researching your topic, thinking about my comments in regards to your proposal, writing up the actual five-page paper. The more complete it is when you turn it in week 11, the better feedback that you will get. And so what's going to happen after that is I will make some very specific comments about what needs to be fixed. And if you make all those fixes, then you're going to get a good grade. If you choose not to do that, then you'll get graded accordingly. You know, you get graded on the, on the basis of the quality of the paper that's turned in. This paper will also be turned into a PowerPoint that you will share as part of a discussion uh, so that other students can see what you've been working on all semester. Again, remember, anytime you have questions, email call, stop by, um, I'm around the library a lot, a lot of other times I'm running around, but you can usually find somebody who knows where I am. Uh, so make sure that the second half of the class you put a lot of effort in, a lot of these, uh, a lot of the grade is, ends up in the second half of the semester. So you've got 15% uh, on the midterm, 20% on the final, 20% uh, on this final uh, research paper, and so on and so forth. So there's still plenty of time to get your grade up if you're not happy uh, where it is. And uh, again, ask questions if you have them. Good luck with the midterm.